Hello everyone and welcome back. This short video concludes our mini-series on our RPA testing capabilities here at UiPath. Now in our previous videos, we have learned how you can create yeah, resilient automated test cases for your automated business process. And the business process we focused on in our previous videos was the loan approval process here at UiPath. Now we have seen how to do all that in studio. On top of that, we've also seen how you can leverage Orchestrator for cloud-based distributed test execution to parallelize your test execution in order to speed up your test execution. And we've also seen how you can integrate your set of automated test cases into your CI CD pipeline to put continuous testing into practice. And now in this video, it's time for the management piece. So what I want to show you now is how you can properly manage the entire set of test cases, both manual and automated, for your automated business process. And for this, we have built Test Manager. So where do you find Test Manager? Well, in your Automation Cloud, Automation Suite, open here the side panel, and here right at the bottom, you find Test Manager. So let me open Test Manager here in a different tab. Now, on the landing page here in Test Manager, we find a couple of projects uh, we've already created. So here you can find some projects we've created for testing certain software applications, but also automated business processes, such as the loan approval process. So when an automated business process becomes quite complex, I would say, we typically dedicate an entire project here in Test Manager to this automation. So let's go to this uh, project here, which is focused again only on the loan approval process. Now here in the dashboard section, you already see that Test Manager provides instant quality insights into yeah, the quality of your automated business process from a pure testing perspective. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you also can see, well, how many defects are still open for these automated business processes and whether they are closed, critical or moderate defects. You can also see the total requirements coverage of that automated business process. I will talk about this in a second. And in addition to that, you also see the total automation rate you have achieved in your test case portfolio. Again, scrolling down a little bit, you see the latest test execution results you have achieved. Now, let's move on to the next panel over here, which is all about the requirements of our loan approval process. So as you can see here, we've created already a bunch of requirements for our loan approval process. So what are these requirements? Well, these are functional requirements. And as you can see here, those requirements are actually our process components. And the reason why this is the case is very simple. You know, a requirement in and of itself is nothing more than a capability that must be fulfilled by our automated business process. So in that case, our loan approval process must possess the capability, for example, to approve a loan request, to calculate a loan rate, to extract loan data, to monitor loan requests, to save the loan information, and so on and so forth. Now let's go to one of these requirements. Let's focus on this one here called Calculate Loan Rate. So when you click on it, you see we are here on the level of the requirement. And this symbol here signifies that this requirement is being synchronized with a requirement from an external tool. So what we're doing here internally at UiPath, we manage our RPA development efforts in external application lifecycle management tools, in short, ALM tools. Now, in that case, we are using Jira to orchestrate our development efforts. So for example, here I am in my Jira project, which is all about the loan approval process. If I go in here to the backlog section, you can see I have a bunch of requirements in terms of user stories already defined for my loan approval process. Now we can then integrate Test Manager with, in that case, Jira to synchronize all these user stories as requirements into Test Manager. So here we provide a couple of yeah, native integrations. Where do you find them? Just go to the project settings in your Test Manager project, go to the integration panel, and here you can then see that we provide native integrations to ALM tools such as Azure DevOps, Jira, both server and cloud, and a couple of plugins for Jira, as well as other test management tools or SAP Solution Manager. Now, on top of that, we also provide integrations into more than 45 ALM tools. 
by making use of Tastop Hub. And Tastop Hub is an integration platform provided by PlanView. And this allows Test Manager to integrate into more than 45 ALM tools. So let me go back to the requirements again and to our requirement to calculate loan rate. So this was the short story how you can integrate Test Manager with external ALM tools. Now, when we do that, we not only synchronize the description, which is very short for demo purposes here, you can also see traceability between the requirements and all the test cases you have created so far for your requirement. And on top of that, we only provide a list of the test cases. You also show the latest test execution result. As you can see, some of them passed and some of them failed. So we can, can go to one of these test cases. Let's go to this one here, check standard loan. And let's zoom now into this test case. Now on the level of this test case, we can also see which automation is attached to this test case here on test manager. So how do you actually create the link between a test on test manager and the automation that's behind this test case? Well, let me briefly go back to studio. All you need to do in order to establish a connection between Test Manager and Studio, you first of all need to define the connection details. So click on Test Manager Settings, provide the URL to your Test Manager instance and provide a default project and then you're ready to go. So then whenever you create an automated test case here in Studio, let's take one of them, for example this Check Standard Loan, you can make a right click on here and here you have the ability to link this automated test case to a test in test manager. So when you click on that, you can select the project, the test available on test manager. It might be a manual test case. You want to automate now. You can also select the name, the requirement, and then say, okay. So that's how you establish the connection between studio and test manager. Now let me go back to test manager again to proceed with my story. As I've said, test manager is not just a tool that allows you to manage all your automated test cases you've created for your automated business process. No, you can also create manual test cases. For example, this is a manual test case I've created at the very beginning of my development efforts to specify certain aspects I want to test in my automated business process. And after that, I moved on and created the automation for it. So that means I converted this manual test case into an automated test case. So all in all, what we provide here is we provide full traceability between the entire automated business process, the loan approval process, the requirements of that automated business process, all the test cases of this automated business process, and also the test results of each and every test case. So when we go to one of these test cases again, check standard loan, then we also see all the latest test execution results. We see that this test case, for example, passed every single time. We can also go back and say, well, let's take one test case that, for example, failed. For example, this one here, check short-term loan. When we click on it, we see basically this test case failed all the time. We can dive deep and say, please show me the execution log. Then we go to the execution log of this particular test case. So again, we can see why this test case failed as part of that specific test execution. Again, the verification failed because the expected loan rate was uh, different to the actual loan rate. We also see all the robot logs related to that specific test result. And on top of that, you can also create defects from those failed test cases, for example, which, in case you have an integration to an external ALM tool, are handled over there. So that means, again, there is full artifact traceability between the business process, the requirements of the business process, the test cases you have created for these requirements, the test results of these test cases, and the defects. Now, going to the test results sections, you then see that I've executed here my regression test set multiple times already. Essentially, I'm doing that every single day as part of my nightly build. So let's go to one of these uh, test results and let's see what's in there. So as you can see, this is the last regression test run that was performed. You can also see all the test cases that were part of that regression test run. Now, on top of that, we also provide the information about the activity coverage you have achieved as part of your test execution. So in that case, this test execution contained test cases that evaluated the quality of two process components, the classify loan request component and the calculate loan rate component. 
and we can even expand it here and can see, well, what are the test cases that were responsible for assessing the quality or the health of that specific process component, including their test results and also the total activity coverage. And that's the short story, how you can not only manage your entire test case portfolio here in Test Manager for your automated business process, I hope it also became clear that Test Manager provides powerful capabilities to also enable you to monitor and report on the quality of your automated business process at any point in time. Thank you.